Hi, this is John Fallows on uh, April 12th, 2009 with a demonstration of Ergo, uh, basically an introduction to uh, the basic features in the program. What we have open right now is uh, an NRD 545 receiver in this receiver control window, uh, which you can dock uh, pretty well anywhere in the program. Uh, we have a propagation chart, a map, and a database that's open. So there's various different ways you can tune the receiver. The simplest way is just uh, either type in the frequency you want to go to and hit enter, or you can uh, tune up and down. Or you can tune just by clicking on the database, and it'll take you to the station that you've clicked on. So right now we're tuned to the Voice of America from, uh, from Philippines. And uh, you can see in the propagation uh, window that uh, this is the what you call the muff chart. So the blue section is the lowest usable frequency. Uh, red is the maximum usable frequency, and yellow is sort of the optimum working frequency. So at the current time, which is about 1423 Zulu, uh, this frequency of 9.7 is uh, pretty well close to the optimum working frequency and you're getting a decent signal strength uh, coming over to Western Canada from the Philippines. Up in the map you can see uh, the path. So uh, Tinang is uh, about 11,000 kilometers at 306 degrees bearing from Calgary. And you can see it's pretty much following a path of darkness uh, right now. Uh, the map shows the sun and the part of the Earth that's in sunlight, and the terminator. So if we were to tune the receiver to All India Radio and find that in the database, uh, you'd notice that we had a, a near gray line path uh, maybe an hour or so ago, and uh, that's uh, resulted in some pretty good signals coming from, uh, from India into Western Canada at the present time. One thing we can do is just dock the uh, receiver window in the toolbar at the top. All of the controls are still accessible, just uh, through a menuing system as opposed to a button for each control separately. And there again, to change frequencies, you just need to type in the frequency you want to go to and hit enter and, and you can move along. Now one of the things we can do with the database is we can establish a link that says track. So if we set the database to track as we tune the receiver to different frequencies, the database will follow along automatically. And you can see what you're listening to or not listening to at that time. So very simple. So you can either have the uh, database follow the receiver, or if you wish, you can set the receiver to follow the database as you click on any frequency in the database it will then tune the receiver to that frequency. And again, as you either tune the receiver or tune by the database, the propagation and mapping features will update automatically. The database has various ways you can sort of refine. Uh, if you want to easily sort, uh, for example, you want to sort and show all of the BBC stations that are active at the current time, well, actually, that are in the database, uh, you can just simply go to, uh, where's BBC? And it, it will then tune to all the BBC stations that are in the database. and you can tune on those. Or if you wish to filter uh, by what's on now. For example, this shows in the entire database there are about a thousand uh, stations that are on now and it presents you uh, with a, a list of them and you can tune to them and do whatever you want. So there's a quick overview of what you can do with uh, with Ergo, just uh, to go back again over some of the features. If you prefer the azimuthal equidistant projection, there's how the world looks centered on your location. And uh, whenever you uh, 
install or start up Ergo for the first time, it asks you for your latitude and longitude and name of your location, and it customizes a map for you based on your location to, uh, to the rest of the planet. And this is an interesting azimuthal equidistant projection. I managed to find a way to get the entire world to show on it, not just uh, the hemisphere that, you, that you're in. And uh, the nice thing about this projection is it shows your bearing to where you're listening to as a straight line, as opposed to the Mercator projection, which can't show bearings as straight lines uh, because of the way it distorts the Earth's projection. When different maps give you different distortions, and you just choose the one you want to live with. Uh, you can also show long path if you wish. You can also show long path on propagation. So, for example, if you wanted to do some long path listening to uh, the Philippines, you would want to try to do it around 0, 02, 0, 0300. You can also display the auroral oval. So this gives you a sense of how much your signal goes through the auroral zone. And uh, the size of the auroral zone depends on whether or not uh, you're having much uh, geomagnetic activity at the present time. But you can see you've got a fairly good chance of listening to Cranji uh, without uh, going through the auroral zone. Whereas other places you might want to listen to uh, say going through Myers in South Africa. Uh, even there to get to South Africa you don't quite have to go through the auroral zone. If you want to print a detailed report of uh, the path that you're looking at, you just uh, simply open up this detailed report window and it shows you hour by hour what type of conditions you can expect to what particular location from where you are. So for example if you want to look at what conditions would be like between uh, Calgary and Myerton and uh, and so on this is uh, is just the way you do that. So you can have a lot of fun. Uh, where you can uh, dock your receiver control window anywhere you want. Actually you can uh, you can take all of these windows uh, should you want to and uh, and just simply dock them and float them around. There's no one magic way. You can customize Ergo to look any any way you want to. Or you can drag these windows back and uh, and dock them properly wherever you want. Ergo is pretty pretty configurable. And as an example, if you want to uh, automatically update your propagation, you can go to the uh, to the properties and you can go to updates. And so for example if you want to update propagation you can set to do it automatically when you're online or ask permission. If you want to update your program you can have that uh, done automatically as well. It's, it's whatever you wish to do. And uh, maybe we should give you an example just before we close of how Ergo uh, updates itself. So uh, let's just actually do that. Let's have Ergo go out and do a program update. So it's gone to the internet right now and it's asking do we have any updates that we might want. It's got a message back saying an update is available. Do you wish to install it now? Programs may close temporarily. So let's do that. So it's downloading one update file. You'll notice it's just Ergo completely. It's done its update and now it's turned Ergo back on pretty well exactly to where it was before. So that's how simple it is to do an update. And you'll notice too when you close and open Ergo it remembers where all the windows were. It even remembers how the database was set. So we'll go back to one of my favorite uh, stations. I always enjoy listening to uh, All India Radio. I enjoy the, uh, the Arctic flutter on the signal and I enjoy the music. So you can have a lot of fun with the different features, and we've just barely scratched the surface. There's a lot of other features in Ergo, and uh, we encourage you to download it, try it for 60 days, and uh, if you like it, then buy it. Thanks.